Canadian welterweight Claude Patrick has quietly flown under the radar, compiling wins over stiff competition during his UFC stint. The Torontonian returns to the octagon looking for his fourth straight when he takes on American Brian Ebersol. Once again with the home field advantage, Patrick walks into this belt with confidence despite the pressures of performing for the hometown crowd. Home is good because I know where everything is, everything is set up nicely for me, so it's a lot more comfortable here, but at the same time it has a bit of pressure. People are able to contact me a lot easier and uh, just a lot more things in my hair, but overall I like it. Due to injuries and substitutions on the card, both fighters have had to adjust their preparation leading up to this bout. I had a strange feeling that I wasn't going to be fighting Rich Antonino, just called intuition, you know, and uh, as I thought, it happened. <laughs> Uh, I got the call about a month before the fight to change opponents. Uh, I was over in Thailand just doing striking and some wrestling, so it didn't change anything over there. What changed was me watching video of a different opponent once I got back to Australia to finish my camp. You know, in the end, my weeks are pretty much the same. I do what I'm good at and then I focus on what I'm not so great at that I think is going to help me um, to improve on, but that list was made up a while ago. So going into a fight camp, I already know what I want to do and what I want to improve on. The charismatic Ebersol has traveled a long road to finally reach the UFC and feels that his experience will aid him in making a splash in one of the most competitive divisions in the sport. I think a lot of fans have really taken to my story and kind of went, whoa, why has this guy got so many fights? Um, if I got in as a 20-something, maybe I'd have washed out by now, I don't know. I know I could have won fights with the roster that they had back then in my skill set, um, but I'm happy to be where I'm at and um, I have a very real chance of finishing my career at the UFC. Having done their homework on each other, both combatants are primed for what will come on Saturday night. Fighting Claude Patrick on Saturday. Um, you know, in the end, I want to go 3 0, I want to go 4 0, renegotiate a contract. And um, I think that renegotiation phase is really going to let me know where I think they think I am. I think the biggest thing with Brian, as you said, is he's well traveled, he's a consummate professional, he's done a bit of everything and seen everything that can happen in a fight pretty much. But with him, he uses misdirection very well. So you're busy looking at his arrow, you're busy looking at his cartwheel kick and everything else, and you don't see you losing the rounds round by round. He knocks you out or he you know, <laughs> wins a decision. So the key is to stay focused and bring the fight to him, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time on bottom, you know, and I don't want to take damage. Those are the two ways I see myself losing the fight. If I spend a lot of time on bottom and wasting energy trying to get away and I'm unsuccessful, um, he's going to wear me down. And obviously, whether I'm taking damage on the feet or on the ground, that's my grill and that's my face we're talking about. And um, you know, getting punched in the head does slow down your movements. So I can't go taking damage either if I want to give myself a chance to, to really push and win. As I said, I want to execute exactly what I've trained. A lot of different things in this training camp. I went down to uh, Black Zillion Camp in Florida with Authentic Sports Management. Been training a lot with those guys and some different strategies and approaches to fighting. And I think they're going to be very useful for me this fight and going forward in my career. So I want to make tonight the first fight that I uh, implement that.